How do you find the greatest common factor when you have exponents and variables? So let's get started. Let's first find the greatest common factor of 70 and 14, and I like to use a factor tree. So I'm going to begin with 2 times 35. Well, what am I doing? I'm trying to find a number, a set of, a pair of numbers that multiply together that equal to 70, and 2 times 35 equals 70. And then if I have a prime number, I circle it. Now I need to find two numbers that multiply together that equal 35, and 5 times 7 equals 35, and I'm going to circle them because they're prime, and now I'm down to prime numbers, so I cannot go any further. So now let's go 14. What are two numbers that multiply together that equal 14? And that's 2 and 7. And notice I'm down to prime numbers, so I'm now finished. So now what I like to do to keep it kind of organized is I make this little chart, and I write all the prime numbers for each number in the chart. I've got a 2, a 5, and then a 7, and then for 14 I have a 2 and a 7. Now what I do is I look for columns that have two numbers and I bring one number down and the five there's not another number and then I multiply these together and that equals 14. So I have the GCF for 70 and 14. Now let's look at y squared. Well I have a y squared here but not a y squared there but I have a y. So I can go y and then I have an x and an x squared so I don't have an x squared in both, but I do have an x, so I'll write the x. So the greatest common factor of 70y squared x and 14x squared y is 14yx. Thanks for watching.